What's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh out here with the Infinite Bassin. Today we are not on the water. We are starting this video from inside the truck, sitting outside Johnson's Bait and Tackle. As you guys know, this is my local tackle shop and they've got just about everything that you could possibly need bass fishing wise. Uh, stocks are a little bit low everywhere. So we're gonna work with what we got today. I've got Justin on the way. He has no idea what this video is about. The guys inside have no idea what this video is about, but uh, we're getting ready to surprise everybody with this one. See you guys inside. All right, guys, we're inside, as you can see. Johnson's. We got the Brian and Brian's in the back, and Justin's right here. What's up? So what's getting ready to happen today is that Justin and Justin, Brian and Brian, geez, are gonna pick five baits each for the next time me and Justin go out. You've got a $10 minimum on each bait. Five, four of them need to be bass baits. And if you wanna go crazy and pick something, you know, off the, the trout wall, the striper wall, whatever, that can be the fifth bait if you so choose. So, Brian, take your bag, take the camera. I need the key. No, you know what? Don't don't take the camera. <clears throat> so, go pick your five baits, put it in the bag. Don't let us see them, and then we're just gonna ring them up later, and see what you choose. You can wait till he's done. Okay. And then you'll go next. Literally just thinking about you guys today. I was like, I don't know what they're up to. Yeah, I don't know. We we are working to. Hey, so I'm gonna hey, Josh here. We got him up. All right, Brian, you feel confident in your bait choices that either me or Justin fishing them won't be able to catch anything on them? For the money, yeah. Some of them are going to be pretty easy, but a couple of them are going to be interesting. You didn't make it too easy, right? No. All right, we'll see. We'll show you guys what they picked here in a little bit. You want to be on the YouTube channel? You gonna be on YouTube? Just folded the rod. So tell, tell, tell the people. Oh. All right. So your mission for today, run around and find two baits that you like. Anything in here. All right, she's back. Oh, she's making this easy on us. Okay, so now you gotta pick which one's for me and which one's for Justin. Mm. Oh, I get these, the uh, skinny dipper and the money shot green. And Justin gets oh, no, I, I, I was nice. silver flash minnow in the 4.3. She went easy on us on this one. I was expecting much worse, but the Bryans are done. I was nice to you guys. I don't like this character. Uh, <laughs> no, mine's not too bad. <laughs> All right, so as she did, pick which bag goes to who. Uh, All right. Ring them up so I can't change my mind. All right, guys. We had to take a brief intermission because a couple people walked in and we didn't want to get them on camera. Uh, as you can see, Where's it go? Where'd it go, Brian? Right there. No, it ain't. You folded it too much. Hi, uh, okay, yeah, we're going to roll it. Coupon. Right there. So, 125 cents is the total. Justin's got his bag. See what you got. So, what this is going to be is we now have six baits, and the next time we go out, these are going to be the six baits, the only six baits we are going to be allowed to fish for the day and see who can complete the six fish, six bait challenge. <laughs> That's terrible. That is terrible. Not impossible, but I'm glad I don't got that one. <laughs> Have fun. The old Vibrex. That was clearly number five. That was bait number five. Okay, we're gonna go to Collins. 
I found one of those stuck in a tree once out there at Collins. I think that exact same bait. Collins, it's a good trout lure for Collins. Don't 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 give them ideas now, cause we're getting ready. To, we're getting ready to take it to the top on this next one. And then yeah, good luck with that. Hey guys, pick a deep lake. <laughs> <laughs> and what is bait number five? The Yozuri Crawl? Yeah. You guys see this? Yeah, that's something that was kind of close. Oh, that's good. That's terrible. So, how, how, how are you feeling about your odds here? I, I got a feeling I'm going to have to do some relining because I got some real tiny issues here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't throw shit this small. Oh, man. That is bad. All right. So we see what's in his bag. Let's see what's in bag number two. And the surprise. I'm just gonna dump them all out. Okay. Okay. Gosh. Oh, all right, guys. Well, if you guys love me, you guys will pick Clear Lake somewhere that I can throw this and actually get a good uh, top water bite. But uh, that's. That one's not gonna be fun. This one, I can do. This one's more my speed right here. You guys have seen me catch walking bait fish all the time. Not on this particular bait, but on one similar color. It's on, it's still going. Okay, okay, primal vibes. This is like a uh, hybrid chatterbait underspin combo. So I can work with that. I don't feel too bad about that. I let them throw in the trailers. Anything that needed a trailer, they could throw in to go with it. So we got the four inch Yamamoto Zeko in the white and chartreuse, which will pair up with that. And then we've got, what is that? The watermelon with copper orange with red flake Senkos. That's a killer. That's easy sell right there. And then my bait that the little one picked out. Oh, we're forgetting one and a square bill kvd 2.5 and db crawl i don't know how justin's feeling right now but i am feeling super great about my odds right now i think i got the short end of the stick <laughs> none of this was planned all of these guys had no idea what i was doing when i walked into this place and uh they hooked it up so what we need from all of you guys is bring up your google Search anywhere from a three hour distance away from Yuba City, Yuba City, California, in any direction, pick a lake. The lake that has the most comments or the most suggested lake on this video will be the lake that me and Justin take these baits with and see who can put five fish in the boat on all of these baits that we've got today. Uh, I don't know how Justin's feeling about it, but uh, we can do a, a friendly uh, $20 wager or a dinner wager, who's paying for dinner that night on uh, who's gonna take this tournament to the head. So we're gonna let this video run maybe two weeks, three weeks waiting for suggestions on which lake. And then at the end of it, we'll make another video telling you guys which lake we'll be going to, and then we'll see you guys out there.